Hello everyone, this is Filibuster Fox, and I am back playing Mountain Blade Warband. I figured when I showed the Freelancer mod uh, yesterday, I uh, may have caught some people unprepared because obviously uh, not everyone's played Mountain Blade Warband, and showing a mod first may not be the brightest idea, but it's done. And we'll have a look at uh, the native game itself. There's no mod on here. Uh, this is back a version, there's actually a new version over this, but uh, I'm not updating simply because all the mods are still compatible with this version quite yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and start a new game from scratch here. Slowly, as it loads. There's usually not too much loading time in this, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I just... Personal Revenge, okay. A little unicorn banner. Right. Go ahead and get some strength skills here. like a Nord, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Sweetie again. Alright. Same old beginning, only this time I'm actually going to go through it here. Okay, he's got a sword and shield and a crossbow. Start it in this little ambush and just go ahead and miss. Filibuster Fox is such a medieval period name, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, continue. Alright, now this uh, basic quest plan will get you started on uh, what you need to do. First, it gives you the quest to uh, recruit five men. So I'm going to go over here and get me some recruits. No one wants to join me here. Jerks. Alright, so I'll go somewhere else. Maybe there's someone in the tavern. Let's see, hired blades. Jailer, how much are you? I can hire one of you. Okay, let's not do that. Not spend all my money on one guy. Alright, so this is the world map. You can. Hold on. You can uh, rotate it however you like. I usually view this way as south. Don't ask me why. Oh, probably because the snow's up there. But the sand's over there, so who knows. But, uh... See, so you've got the Kingdom of Suedia, which is this uh, orange color through the middle here. You've got the Kingdom of the Nords, which are kind of like the Vikings. Along the coast here. You've got the Kingdom of, uh... Vagers, I think it's pronounced. Uh, B A E G I R S. Vagers, we'll call it that. I think they're Russian. We've got the uh, uh, Kyrgyz Khanate, which are the uh, Mongol, uh, fictional Mongol group. We've got the uh, Serenid Sultanate, which are the Arabic group with their. Uh, Oh, what's it called? Mamluks and such like that. And then you have the uh, Rodox, which are, you know, spearmen and such like that. Uh, I don't know who they're based on. Maybe, uh, I haven't a clue. Maybe Germany. Whereas Swedia could be France. It's hard to say. 
they are kind of fictional, but they kind of follow some uh, standards. Now, this is my army. It's got me in it, no one else, so it's just one unit. Recruit. Okay, I have gotten one recruit, so I now have an army of two. If I mouse over myself, you can see that I'm in there, as well as a Swedian recruit, who is not the best traveling companion. They're pretty useless. Now, if you watch my mod video, I was a Swedian recruit geared, so, you know, I got this little felt hat and a shirt and uh, farming equipment as weapons, so that's pretty much what they get. Uh, one thing uh, I didn't get to show you in the other video is how uh, troops progress through the trees. And I may just cheat a little to show you that. If I get pressed for time. Alright, there's 50, uh, cost 5 guys there. Let's go ahead and try and avoid these looters. Actually, I think I can take them. I dare you live from limb! Alright, they get twice as many guys as me. But. I have me, so that helps. Right, so I'm ordering my troops to follow me up here in this hill. Set them up here in this nice defensive position. Make them come up the hill to me. Alright, hold this position, and it'll tell them to sit where I am at the time I give it. So I can move over here, and they'll still hold that position. Okay, my crossbows kind of suck. Looks like we need it closer. Down line is short, so I'm gonna adjust my aim. There's a uh, weapon drop, it's not like shooting a gun in most shooters where it just keeps going straight forever. There's a hit. Alright, I'm just gonna ride forth now. Cavalry isn't a bit OP, but that's uh, appropriate to the era. Cavalry was OP in medieval times. So despite being level 1 and relatively untrained skill-wise, I can beat these guys fairly easily because I have a horse. A horse got stabbed. But, uh... Basically, the horses can trample, you know, and they keep you mobile so they can't attack back. And uh, damage is calculated uh, not only by just, you know, weapon damage and such like that, but at the momentum you're traveling, you get a speed bonus to sit down there at the bottom level, plus 17% for the speed I was traveling at the time, the angle attack, that sort of thing. And you can get some pretty significantly large bonuses for the horse. Had a little trouble getting those because attacking you with a clump and they're defending, but uh, yeah, it works. I'm perhaps not the best player of this game. It's actually fairly obvious that I've played multiplayer, I'm not the best player of this game. Oh, they, they killed one of my recruits. There we go. That should have finished it. Where's the guy over there? Now I'll be able to run him down before he gets to a, the edge of the map and can escape, but uh, here's a try. Now this game works pretty well with NVIDIA's 3D vision. I uh, used to try that around, and that was pretty cool. It, uh, it's one of the better games for it that I've found. But, uh, so if you do like to use the 3D stuff, this is a uh, good one. And this is the loot I can collect from uh, my defeated enemies. I'm also going to sell it. Alright, so I've advanced to level 2 and some soldiers have uh, are ready to upgrade. So I'll go ahead and do my advancing. Give myself another strength. I'll put up another point in pathfinding. Get a little faster on the map. And uh, bring my two weapons up. There are two-handed weapons up. Alright, and uh, my party here. These guys have a plus here, that means they're ready to be promoted. This is there as well. 
So let's go ahead and upgrade them to Swadian Militia. This is how your troops progress. They've got better equipment now, and they're more capable fighters. You can talk to them and uh, see their stats. This is how they develop. Now, once these guys are promoted, they can either go to footmen or skirmishers. Skirmishers are crossbowmen, footmen are foot soldiers. And the skirmishers can eventually become like uh, crossbow snipers or what have you. Footmen can either go into uh, spearmen or cavalry or swordsmen sort of things. And it's pretty similar with the other uh, nations, except, for example, the uh, Nords do not have cavalry. Uh, the Kyrgyz have nothing but cavalry, and so on and so forth. Each uh, group has its own flavor, but they're pretty similar. Like, uh, some use archers, some use crossbowmen, uh, and that sort of thing. I still need to uh, have five troops, so I've got four, including myself. I might need to have six total. Not really sure. There we go, another five. Perfect. So now you see I've got a mix of guys in here. Let's go turn in this quest. Very well, I shall hunt the bandits. Okay, I've got to hunt some bandits to find where the hostages are. Now let me show you towns while I'm here. Now, uh, this go to the park. Nope, go to, take walker in the streets. Now you can actually walk through the towns and go to all the locations you can fast travel to from the menu. The menu is just more convenient. Like you can talk to townsfolk. Here's the uh, weapons merchant. Here is the armor merchant. You can go right into uh, the trade screen here. You can walk around and uh, you can find the tavern somewhere. I don't know my way around Craven. Uh, is this the castle? This looks like it's the castle. Stairs. Good horse. There's the door to the castle. I wonder what this is. Door to the arena. Okay. Well, you can go to the castle. And, uh, usually, like, the king or the lord of the castle being here, you can talk to them, their lady, your wife, or what have you. Uh, but no one's here now. The arena, you can do a few things at. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is the regular arena fights. You get a random set of equipment, which happens to fit my skills, and then you go to this big free brawl brawl. Eating me. Damn it. Anyways, there are like 40 opponents or so that you have to get to. Either by letting them kill each other or killing each other. The more you kill, the bigger reward you get. You're faster than me. I'm just gonna hit the sword. So you can pick up their weapons. Uh, there we go. Oh. Our... oh god, now I pick up the sword. <laughs> I go to kick and I throw on that again. Okay, so that's the arena fight. Two opponents, but not enough for prize money. And you can find out about tournaments, which are in these locations. And uh, they're basically more organized forms of that, where you've got teams fighting in the arena, and there are big prizes, and you can get invited to the feast and whatnot. Tavern is where you find recruitable troops like these hired blades, or uh, you know, the quest giver, the one quest in the game, Merchant of Braven. Or, uh, you know, the traveler will tell you where you can find claimants or your companions if uh, you fired them and need to find them. The marketplace obviously lets you shop. Wait here for some time, allows you to stay the night and have your troops uh, rest up and heal.